Hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with Master Code Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. So in today's tutorial, we're going to keep building on our knowledge for uh, Python classes or object-oriented programming as well. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and create a uh, couple classes and go ahead and um, access the variables in these classes and learn how to work with variables that are contained in the class. All right. So we're taking baby steps and um, building on our knowledge with um, with uh, classes. So this might be uh, a little repetitive for some of you, but it also will help others learn exactly how to work with classes. All right, so we're going to create a class. So class that indicates our class, we're going to call our first one first class. All right. Don't forget your colon. Now the next thing we're going to need is our doc string. And I want you to get in the habit of writing doc strings because that is the proper way to create classes. So we're just going to say this is our first class and we are calling a variable. Something like that, all right? Period. And then, all right, so there's our doc string. Now let's just create a variable in this class and we'll say like a is uh, equal to 25. All right, so now how do we access a? in the class all right um, it's very simple we can just do call the class so first class all right and then a period and then a all right so we're going we're saying first class all right so we're calling the class we're going to the class and then we're going to go inside and find a so I hit return and I get 25 all right so that's what we're looking for let's go ahead and try another one this time we're going to go ahead and access a object contained in the list, which is represented by a variable. All right. So let's just create a new class, class, second class. All right. We'll throw in a doc string. Um, let's just do this second class contains a list like that. Oops. Need a period. Just like that, and we'll say b is equal to our favorite list one, two, three, four, and five, just like that. All right, <clears throat> so now we need to access the second class, uh, and the variable is contained inside of it. So, second class would be second class, like this. All right, period. Now, b. Now, I want to be able to access the two in this list, so how would I do that? Well, I'm going to go ahead and um, get the index of 2, which if you remember all the way back to when we worked with lists, lists always start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, so we're going to need 1. Hit return, and there we go. We get 2. All right, so note we just basically put a dot, and then we work with the variable like we would any anywhere else, right? All right, so let's do one more. Um... This time we're going to go ahead and create a class and it's going to contain a list of animals and we're going to go ahead and pull out um, uh, the animals that act, uh, start with A. All right, we saw this a couple tutorials ago. So class, third class, all right, and don't forget your doc string. Say uh, this is our third class. And period and then close out your doc string and then we're going to go ahead and do c is equal to a list of animals so we're going to say ape we're going to say uh, bird we are going to say lion and we're going to say uh, alligator all right so we'll come down um And let's do uh, 4x in uh, third class dot c, and then our colon, and then we're going to say print x starts with a. All right. This is actually going to return um, true or false if it starts with a. All right, so we'll go ahead and do true, false, false, true. All right, true, false, false, true. 
All right. So that's your introduction to working with variables and classes. Now, it's very simple. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial when we learn how to start working with functions contained in um, classes. So I'll see you then.